Well, we're going to be in the Hollywood area right there. That black vehicle that you're seeing is the one that is being pursued. But I have to be very clear about this. Because of all this high rate of speeds, this crazy driving, and it has been crazy driving uh, this afternoon, they backed off. All the black and whites have backed off, but believe me, they are in the area and they are nearby. The helicopter above is the LAPD helicopter making the calls, keeping an eye on where this vehicle is. We understand two people in the vehicle and they really believe that they're armed. And the way these, uh, the way these persons are driving, they definitely have something that they do not want to be stopped for. A man with a gun call is the original call, as I understand it. We're just getting that from our assignment desk. Melissa giving that information. And you see what we're talking about right there. Those were stop signs. It's a, a very residential area, high speeds, and that's not the only thing that we've seen. He's actually almost hit or just basically swapped paint with a black and white with an uh, LAPD officer when the officer was in the area stopped. This car keeping driving, keeping these extremely high speeds. I'm going to get that map up here in just a moment. Uh, definitely in the Hollywood area and right now as I understand it we are on Kingsley and we've made our way into the Koreatown area and this one is one of the ones where I've got to be really careful on what we're doing because the way these people are driving this uh, this afternoon and the reason for the want I've got to be very very careful because if this comes to an end you can see how desperate these this person is to get away from law enforcement Well, it's been in the Hollywood area the whole time. It was on the freeway for there for a few moments. We were up doing another story that was going on in the valley. Our assignment desk gave us the heads up that this was going on. We started listening to it, made our way over here. But, uh, you know, th th let's just keep an eye on what's going on at the moment. Uh, this vehicle is still making his way through the, uh, through the Koreatown area. We're on New Hampshire, and you can see these high speeds. These are very, very tight streets. Anybody that's ever driven in, in, down in this area, especially around this time of the day, knows that it's always very tight and very compact. The drivers in this area also, they're basically minding their own business, and then you've got this lunatic driving around out here. Maybe that wasn't the right word, but look at how this person is driving this afternoon. And now we're back at least onto a major, I believe we're back on Vermont. Vermont was one of the streets that he was on originally. Maybe he knows this area, maybe he doesn't, but right now, very high speeds, many close calls, and that car really starting to work, work this area. So the LAPD, they've been trying to figure out how they're going to do this safely. They want to bring this thing to an end. Clearly, uh, they have officers in the area. We've seen this car making back onto the 101. We've seen officers in this area. We've seen this car drive by other police officers, and we've heard them on the radio saying, turn off the, turn off the lights and sirens. They're just trying to calm this person down a little bit, keep an eye on where he's going. Where he's going? Well, back onto the freeway right now, southbound on the 101, speeds are picking up, and I'm going to start playing with some of the tech in the helicopter so we can keep everybody up to date. I'm going to show the uh, speed and also the uh, locations. Jeez. That's right. It, you know, and this is the thing. Speeding on the freeway, we're well into the 100 mile an hour, so into the triple digits. That car, look at it, just swerving back and forth out there, 80, 90 miles an hour on the 101, just passing, I believe that was Vermont. And you can see that this, this car just moving along, high speeds, LAPD, they are in pursuit. And again, they're just keeping an eye on it. The window's down for the first time. We can kind of get a little bit of a glimpse of the driver. Uh, you can see that, you know, he's looking out the window, driving just 
I, you know what? This is one of those ones where I just can't even keep up. This guy is driving so erratic. I'm just worried so much about any of these other folks that are on the road today. Many, many close calls. We understand that he actually did hit a black and white, a, a law enforcement vehicle earlier on. Man with a gun call. That's also going to be part of the part of this when this comes to an end because apparently that they haven't they don't have no reason to believe that that weapon is not in that vehicle right now they understand that there's two people in the car maybe more but uh, that's one of the reasons why they were asking for additional units earlier on meaning more officers to uh, engage in this pursuit or be in the area when this comes to an end because there's going to be more than one person in that car at least I can say that the speeds have slowed down and I can't believe looking up we're going 90 miles an hour on the 101 freeway this uh, and it gives you an idea let me get a little bit of a wider shot here we're making our way into the valley so we're going up in, in, through the Coanga Pass right now that vehicle still moving very very quick and uh, LAPD they are in tracking right now meaning there is no black and whites behind him no lights and sirens the public not really being warned about what's going on and he's still driving very erratically weaving through these cars out here, getting very close to a lot of these folks, and like you said earlier, no, ooh, ooh, nobody knows what's really going on. It's just somebody driving really, really fast. But again, this person, concerned about getting away and not really paying attention to what's in front of them. I'm just very worried about the public. I don't want to see this end poorly.